Okay. This is exciting stuff. I've been waiting a few months to finally share my dealings with this box, and SSL has finally gave me the thumbs up to make a breakdown kind of my opinion video on this beautiful beast. I'm Mark Daniel Nelson, and this is the SSL Bus Plus. What I'm going to do is I'm going to play you two tracks. One track is by the group C-Pen. It's a hip-hop track that's been mixed already. I used this box for it specifically. The other track is a rock group from uh, Scotland called Dark at Four. I'm in the middle of that album right now, and the song isn't 100% done, but I can just pull up to where I have it so we can kind of listen to what the box is doing. Now I'm going to just fool around with the settings a little bit. I'm not going to get too radical in the sense of going into the details of what I'm doing. It's more about just hearing what the process is doing and how the box responds to the music. Really quickly, before we dive dive in, I will go over a couple tiny features so you can understand when I'm feeling around with stuff. It's a VCA, very traditional SSL type VCA compressor. But what it has on it is a bunch of features that just floors me. One being an MS mode. Now I can use that for mastering everything else, but it's really, really good for surgical, super hyper detail. And for me, looking for a compressor that has super punch and vibe that a VCA or a traditional SSL compressor has, but imparts this very hi-fi, bigger than life kind of sound. And to be honest, it's pretty difficult to get both. And for what I know and what I've talked to with the guys at SSL, they put a lot of patience and time into creating little features and little soundscape adjustments that you can really achieve certain elements and save certain elements. So you basically have the best of both worlds. Now, real quickly, I have this in classic stereo mode. That doesn't mean that it's not going through the other side. The side is off for now. You can actually turn off the box and turn it on and use a feature in the mode position that allows you to change a plethora, a ton of stuff. So just know that going in when we're doing this, I'm gonna leave this on the stereo mode. But if you really want to, you can go into dual mode, which opens everything up, or mid side. Now, I'm not gonna do a ton of stuff on the mid side, but this is side, this is mid, and you can adjust things accordingly based on what you need it to be. But for today, I'm just going into the classic. I love, I love those relays. I like those relays a lot. Now, also looking at the features here, you've got this 4K mode, which I think is traditional to the 4000 bus compressor. But I do know that they've added this feature that if you hold it, you can toggle up and down. And if you see the red light going from red to white, it actually changes the curve a bit or the harmonic distortion a bit. I'm a big fan of the orange area as that has a little bit of the harmonic richness I want, but not necessarily clamping everything else down too much. So I'm gonna leave that on orange. The other button, the low THD, is a absolute match made in heaven for a VCA compressor. For me, I would put my name on that section as if, if I was going to design something to create that kind of sound. This hi-fi element that actually lets you keep your low tight bottom end, but create that color that the VCA is known for. It's the most magic button in this box, I think. I'm gonna leave that on too for this hip hop track. I'm gonna to toggle in and out of the 4K mode just so you can hear it. The layout here is pretty traditional, but it does have the mix knob. Now you can go between mix knob or you can change the mode button and switch that to parallel. But today I'm just gonna leave it on the mix knob. And then you got this dynamic EQ, and then you have these very traditional normal EQs as well. The dynamic EQ is really spooky because it does add a little bit of that presence or that little bit of that thrust on the bottom end that you really, really want. Now, if you hold it, the magic happens. So what it's doing is it's toggling between the frequency response of where the low end is and where the top end is. That alone is super cool. I've never seen a box that was able to kind of process this based on what you're hearing. So let's take a peek at this track and let's just talk about what we're hearing. Let's take it out and then let's put it in and fool around with it. Let's 
turn up the 4K and get a little dirtier. You hear how it's starting to dig in with this being in the red? Compressors don't like low end. They usually roll off a bit and VCAs are actually known for taking a little bit of that out. This is what I'm talking about with the THD. If I take it out, the bottom doesn't bloom as pretty as when it's in. So that's what I mean about it being almost like a hi-fi feature, which is exactly what I want out of a compressor, but still have the color it needs to grip it. Left, right, left, how you wiggle, wiggle on. You a bad man, mud and tell it all. Any look, huh? you know how to pull it off. Uh. This that runway moment, uh. Ain't no show, you stole it. Yeah, got that body glowing. Uh -huh. Ain't no shame, girl, show. Gotta take a pic for the flashback. Looking like a full play, stop that. Dude, don't need a man if you got Mac. Real life, looking like a thirst trap. Spotlight all on you, that's right. More than 15 is your life. that holds a hardware piece over the plugin still, any plugin, is the grabbing feature of the compressor. And for a VCA to do a specific thing, it does it very close and very good in a plugin world, but it doesn't really go 100% there, which this guy destroys that sound. So let's listen to some drums. So it's starting to do that clamping thing that I really like that goes over what a plugin can really do. Let's pull the whole track in. Clicking it a tiny bit of the meter adds so much character and so much glue. It puts it into its own space. It's really great. So without the low THD, I feel like it, it's very similar to the original bus compressor on the 6000 I worked on when I started. Pop that in and all of a sudden the transients come back, the kick drum extends. Super cool because it's combining the two features that I love, which is making things big and beautiful but still retaining that color. I can say for a fact that I am absolutely going to be using this all the time. There's just so many options to play with. And once I feel like I got a setting, I can kind of adjust things just a little bit and it actually continues to make it better. I will say this, most of the time for me, when there's a box that has a thousand options, it puts me into a place that I get really, really worried that I'm going to go into the devil's triangle and overcompensate and do something that will make it worse just because the feature is there. This box, is a little different, and I'll tell you why. The EQ is super simple. The compression is very standard. I'm very familiar with how I operate a VCA type SSL compressor, but the elements that you can do with the 4K mode, with the harmonics, and the low THD mode, is just ridiculous. I haven't even gotten into the MS side of things yet, and I haven't even really used it on anything but mixing. It's a slam dunk.
It's a hundred percent slam dunk. That's it in a nutshell. Uh, what, what do they say on the the movie critics? That's a tan. This is a tan. This is this box is a tan. Definitely a ten.